Fritz, thoughts on playing Battletech solo? And naturally, I'm going to push this out to you guys building on this this question asked in DM. Playing Battletech solo, exploring some scenarios or exploring some mechs. Now, by solo, certainly one could put down some mechs on both sides and play the best move back and forth. But there's there's no placeholder there's no opportunity for the unexpected in terms of it adapting and in learning the rules backing this up for a second i think there is value to limited solo play for battle tech especially once you're new to the game and uh, second just by playing around and looking for some opportunities naturally being a, a war game we want the unpredictability or predictability you you can see the mechs i'm playing and you know i'm going to run up and try and punch you but having that and being able to explore that in the moment combined with playing with other opponents and and building those social aspects for me battletech solo is never going to replace that for battletech but i do see some value so let's look at explore build that checklist of of two possibilities the first is value in if you're new to battletech Take that Wolverine, take that Griffin. I'd start with medium mechs simply because they've got some armor, they've got some weapons, you've got maneuverability, you've got some jump capability, you have to manage heat. There's a lot of pieces that those mechs do, and I would put them down and just work my way through the rules. Roll for initiative on both sides, move, get cover, shoot, look at modifiers, and understand the scope of the game. Because uh, certainly I find, yes, we're going to look through the rules. Yes, I'm going to watch videos online, YouTube, fantastic resource. But the physical connection, pushing the models, moving the models, flipping back and forth the rules, figuring it out, that's, that's the first kind of entry point. I could see Solo having value from there, not only as a diversion, but as a potential trainer. And by trainer, what I mean is what we're looking to do, and this is true in every war game. There's this learning curve that exists in every war game, not just in Battletech. You want to get to a point, you're never going to have every rule memorized. I mean, there are times where I know Battletech allows it, I know I can do it, but I'm a little bit hazy and I got to go to Total Warfare and look it up. But for the most part, I know the flow of the rules. For the most part, I know what's going to happen. By understanding the flow of the rules and knowing the machines, the mechs that you play, That means your brain doesn't have to process that directly. You can focus on the overall battlefield, the overall hex map. And and by being a little bit removed from from the number-crunching thought process meta, you can begin to see mistakes that your opponent makes. You can begin to see opportunities. You can begin to explore that. And, And these opportunities, everyone makes mistakes. These opportunities absolutely exist. But when you're trying to figure out the, the, the meta and the number crunching and this viability and that and how to play your machines and what's most optimal, it's easy to miss those. So AI could be a trainer to, to possibly do that. There, there, there's a possibility to do that. So what I experimented with early on, and I got to see if I can dig up the files. I know I've got the PDFs and I'll push them up to my uh, – I'll push them up to my blog when I find them. I'll put the link and I'll make a new video if you guys want to check it out. It, it basically, the flow chart is basically this. Um, figure out the mechs you want to play. Now, we're not looking at fairness at this point of view. We're, we're looking at a way to experiment and a way to learn Battletech in the moment to, to get to that point where tactically we can see potential opportunities on the table. So I pick the mechs I want to play and, and I'm focusing on a lance. And the lance could be all lights. It could be an assault, a heavy, a medium, and a light. A light, a medium, two heavies. I I pick the weight class I want to play. And then out of all the other mechs in my collection, I randomize those weight classes and I I pick. I pick random mechs. So I could, um, you know, look, I could pick a lower class assault mech that I want to play. Pick a battle master. And then randomly for the... AI opponent I'm going to play, it, it picks an awesome or an atlas. It's not going to be fair. That's that's fine. I want that unknown. I, I don't want to know what I'm going up against. So we build Lance versus Lance. We deploy out. 
And there's a quick, the charts that I have ask the question, roll for initiative. So we roll for initiative. And then just to keep the, the randomness on that side, um, when they win initiative, it's their turn to move. I randomly select a D4, which mech is going to move. So I don't always know optimally what's going to move. And then based on that mech, I have a, a D6 action chart. And for light mechs, uh, the action mostly is run into cover or stay out of range, try to work the flank. Um, it has a couple of, of kind of actions that I think a light mech would do. Um, medium mechs, it looks get into cover, shoot at range. Get into cover, back up, shoot at range. Close, you know, different options there, D6. And then heavy mechs are obviously more aggressive and assault mechs you know, they kind of go berserk where they're just going to try and go in. Or it might be stay at range, fire everything. Um, stay at range, fire half weapons. Looking to introduce that that not so much predictable actions. There's heat issues. Um, it does crazy things. It doesn't always work out. It doesn't always make the most tactical opportunities. But again, this is just a quick, quick lance trainer so I can react simulation to what's going on and one could build this proficiency to begin to see mistakes on the table i say this from the perspective of someone that's played BattleTech a long time in theory i can see the mistakes on the table so this type of trainer is not from that perspective if you're new to BattleTech, i think it would be kind of an interesting thing to do um, but occasionally i just want to like try out a couple of mech ideas so i just put down a lance on the table and I won't play it to completion, but I'll play like, you know, five, six, seven, eight turns just to see what happens or, or just to see some, some mech synergy or is this mech really that bad? Let me, let me try and play it and just put it through a grinder and see what I can explore. So, uh, solo, yes, there are some ways to do it. It's, it's never going to, of course, replace a player. I mean, you could look for some online play. You could look for some synergy play. You could look for some back and forth play remote. I mean, there's a lot of options if you want to go against an opponent. But in terms of learning the rules, training, looking for opportunities, cutting down that learning curve, uh, there are a couple of options out there to begin exploring that.